what's up people it's your boy the kryptonian saying here bringing you a review for one piece chapter 476 this is a pretty nice combo pretty nice combo i like this man i like how brooke says look i can't repay my debts to you guys just go through with this go through with my plan and sure enough his combo attack actually works and i didn't see it kind of playing out the way that he was saying basically Brook allows Usopp to shoot him through the air. Nami shoots him with a lightning bolt. Lightning bolt increases the amount of impact he hits Oars with. It shoots him through Oars' body. Nico Robin then takes the opportunity to wrap up Morai. Oh, excuse me, Moria. And what ends up happening after that is he. Gets his whole body wrapped up by Nico Robin and she stops Morai from being able to stretch out Orr's body to carry out Luffy's attacks. Because he was using uh, the shadow to make it basically reverse the roles of the shadow where my hand moves, my shadow follows. Well, in this case, where the shadow moves, that's where the hand follows. And so, or the body follows. So, what was really key about this is. We actually see a scenario where Nico Robin and the rest of the Straw Hats, they outsmarted one of the Warlords. And I think that's huge because when you look at their characters, and sorry guys, I'm in a lot of fucking pain right now. A lot of fucking pain right now, so just bear with me. But when you look at the Straw Hats, one of the things that we see... One of the things that we see with them is they're able to outsmart one of the warlords, which is key for their development going forward. Because what we're going to see is a situation where Oda uses this as a template for building them to take their characters to the next level as far as character development and growth. Because we've only seen Luffy take out the big bad guy. We've only seen Luffy bring down one of the warlords. One of the, uh, Arlong wasn't a warlord, but Arlong ran a whole fucking town by himself. Every step of the way, Luffy's taking down the big bad guy. Ian's lobby, he takes down the head assassin. Well, in this case, the Straw Hats are actually going to be taking down one of the warlords. And even if it just sets the stage for Luffy to deliver the finishing blow, the fact that the Straw Hats are probably being watched by Bartholomew right now means their bounties, they are going to go up, but it's going to confirm Aokiji's suspicion, his worry, that the Straw Hats are too dangerous to be taken lightly. And what's key about this is the fact that it shows their progression because they're no longer relying on Luffy's strength. And this arc, I really feel like this arc is built more so about the strongest having to rely on the weakest. And in this case, Luffy is leagues ahead of the rest of the Straw Hats. That's why we see a scenario where they're fighting against giant Luffy and Oars is basically taking them to town. He's beating the fuck out of them. And they're holding their own. They're outsmarting them. And now Luffy's coming to deliver the finishing blow because he has a hundred shadows put inside of him. And a normal person can only withstand two. So Luffy's 50 times stronger than Lola's original body. This is fucking crazy, man. This is so fucking crazy. I cannot believe that Oda has decided to take the story in this route. I'm really excited to see the final battle. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. Well, I say I'm in a lot of fucking pain. I'm in a lot of pain. So I'm going to have to cut this review really short. My chapter question for you guys is... What were your thoughts on what were your thoughts on the fact that the Straw Hats used that bit of teamwork to try and bring down Morai, to bring down Oars? But as always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, 
share if you're new. Oh, fuck. A quick explanation. My leg is really, really bothering me right now. Really, really bothering me. So I, I really apologize, guys. Thought I could get one more review out. I'm totally sorry for this. Thank you so much for watching the end of the video, guys. Have an awesome day.